The doors to Bosnia's oldest and largest museum in Sarajevo closed three years ago. Donations and funds dried up, but that's not stopped some 50 employees from turning up to work to look after the collections inside. Throughout these three years, employees have continued to come to work, even though they haven't been paid for more than 40 months and aren't getting social security. Plus, the museum doesn't have any heating anymore, and generally the conditions are at a minimum standard for both employees and the collections. In August, a group of citizens, including some famous artists and intellectuals, took matters into their own hands. They're now occupying the museum to raise awareness of its plight and in the hope of forcing politicians to end the funding crisis. Bosnia was divided into two semi-autonomous entities after its inter-ethnic war in the 1990s, Muslim Croat and Serbian. But the different political parties never reached agreement on how to finance national institutions through the central budget. Politicians aren't the only ones responsible for this situation. It's mostly the fault of our political system, which, it seems to me, aims to reinforce our differences. In such a system, nobody feels responsible for the state and its symbols. Among its four million exhibits are works of art from Bosnia's Serb, Muslim and Croat communities. It also houses a quarter of a million books including a famed 600-year-old Jewish manuscript known as the Sarajevo Haggadah. The collections I'm in charge of are alive, the botanical garden where there are more than 3,000 plant species. It's impossible for me to leave them uncared for, so I have to come to work every day so they don't die. The culture minister has promised to find a solution but not before 2016. The museum may be in trouble for some time, but it's not alone. Cultural institutions, libraries and art galleries across the country are in the same predicament.